I've been to so many over the years that have been fitted incorrectly and they've moved and allowed water to seep down the back. And we all know what that leads to. So it's very important at this stage that we get it fitted properly and solidly. The first thing obviously is that we need to make sure that it's level. And the next thing I do is to make sure that I've got a good solid timber bearer behind that long edge at the back there to stop any movement. And if you do that, when you come to put your sealing tape in and your silicon seal, you make sure there's no movement there, no stretch on the silicon joint. Then we've got this seal that goes all the way around the edge of the bath to give us that second seal, if you like, around the back edge. So we're gonna make sure that no water can ever leak down the back. Now I just use this MD adhesive, which is really good. It's waterproof and quite honestly, a nice thin bead along the back. And once you push that on and it goes off, that's gonna go nowhere. Now at this stage, what most people would do is to tile down to the edge of the bath and then run a bead of silicon along there to stop any water ingress. And when you're dealing with a shower, you're dealing with a lot of water over a long period of time. And very often it doesn't take long for that joint to break down and for water to start seeping in down the back of the bath. I've seen it so many times. Here's a product that will solve that problem once and for all. It's called No More Leaks Kit. You've got the waterproof tape, two preformed corners, and even a brush. Now at this point, it's really important that you protect the bath because a tiler drops a tile into the bath, chips it, there can all kinds of mishaps can happen, we all know that. So make sure you protect it. That way, when it comes to the end, you're not in for any nasty surprises. So what I do is I tape along the edge with a masking tape, put a sheet of Protec on there, tape that down and leave it there until everything else has been done. <laughs> 